Welcome to The Pulse with Peter B. I'm your host, Peter Biancomano. Let's get you to The Pulse on everything you need to know. And today's show is brought to you by the Liberty Board of Realtors. You can find out more information at the link at the bottom of your screen on our friends there. And the Dream Project. You can find out more information about the Dream Project at the link at the bottom of your screen as well. And today, as you can see, I am not in studio. I am actually at the Commercial Kitchen at the Oaks Club in Hoboken, located at 1005 Washington Street. And we want to give a special thank you to the Elks Club, and we're going to put their website on the bottom of the screen as well for making us use this glorious kitchen because today it is the ultimate pulse cook-off. The first time ever our Places Insiders are going to go at it, and that, is, of course, is Daria De Lucia and Krista Stuccio. And we're so proud to partner with founder and CEO of Ready Strong Meals, my man Nick Mattia, who was on the show a few months ago, as you remember, and his chef Jerry to walk us through this program. And also, we have another special guest, and I'm actually going to shoot it out to her right now, and that is our guest host, Nicolette Ayala, who will be the master of ceremonies for today's cook-off. Let's actually go to Nicolette. She is uh, going to have a quick chat with Nick and Chef Cherry from Ready Strong Meals. Thanks, Peter. I'm here with Nick, Mattia, and Chef Jerry from Ready Strong Meals. Welcome back, Nick. Thank you so much. Good to have you back. Good to have you back. So I actually just want to ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, how has business been since your premiere on The Pulse? It's actually been great. Um, a lot of people saw The Pulse. They reached out to me. They loved the video. They loved the segment with Peter, um, the infamous Peter. He's awesome. And uh, it was great. You know, a lot of people found me through the pulse and business has seen an uptick. So business is booming. It's that's been great it's to been hear. good. Good to hear. So good. that's why I'm back. There you go. There you go. Okay, so um, actually now that restaurants are at a certain capacity, how has that affected uh, you know the business overall? Um, you know what? It's actually been it's been good um, because people want to go out. They want to experience, you know, eating out. So I'm all for the restaurants opening. Um, people are still, you know, loyal to our company and they order their meals for the week. They go out on a Friday or Saturday night and they enjoy all of these beautiful restaurants in, uh, in town. Okay, so okay. So it's been good. everything's still been good. Okay, and actually I did want to talk about that one of your most popular dishes is the Cajun crusted salmon, which we are going to be doing on yes. the cook-off cook today. Um, tell me why you chose this dish among your other dishes that you yes. have. Yes, so the salmon um, I love because I grew up eating salmon. Very simple um, way. We prepare it with a few different ingredients. It's clean, it's healthy, um, and it's a hearty dish. Absolutely. It's filling and it's great. So pretty easy, to simple to make too. It I also love like the it. honey soy turkey meatballs. So yeah. Oh, we gotta try a, that next time. Favorite, that's the next so one we gotta try. Maybe next time, guys. Okay, and how much of the Cajun crusted salmon usually do you sell on average or people order so you know, on a week? So we usually do, um, every week we do about 50 to 60 orders of, okay. uh, of salmon. Um, I would say most people order at least one or two meals uh, of salmon. So it's definitely very popular. We get a very good um, locally sourced fish. Okay. Um, we clean it. We roast it, and um, people have it ready to go. So okay. it's great. Okay, I'll be right back with you. Awesome. This question's for Chef uh, Jerry. So now, if someone wants to make salmon at home, what are some things they should keep in mind when cooking? How long to cook it? You know, little tips and of the so, trade. So one, always dry your fish before anything. Then you want to oil it up. I, I like olive oil personally. If you like butter, butter as well. But uh, you know, salmon's very fatty. It's a, it's a fatty fish, so I like to add like stuff like garlic, um, you know, the Cajun powder, um, we, we love that. Um, I like to do mustard, mustard salmon as well. It's a delicious thing. If you guys like mustard, mustard is a, is a way to go. I love that. Um, also, miso salmon. If you like, if you Ooh, like a I've little never. Asian style, yeah. a little Asian inspired, you know, you go with the miso salmon. And just I think we might have another oven. menu item, actually. <laughs> yeah, actually. We've been talking about that. <laughs> Listen, everyone knows. 
seafood is my favorite, so <laughs> I'm in like heaven right now. Um, okay, so now that spring is here and um, you know, it's kind of summer's on the way, any new dishes that you guys are coming out with that you would like to share with your audience? Um, yes, so we're actually rolling out a few vegetarian options. Okay. Um, we're thinking about a, um, a tofu style dish okay. as well as lentils. Um, I've been getting more into vegetarian as well as you know meat based, so we're looking to do more vegetarian, and we're also bringing back some OG specials. So Ooh. we're um, we're probably bringing back the sweet chili ch Thai chicken Ooh. as well as the buffalo chicken. I'm so excited! It's, uh, I'm excited. Jerry, you're gonna crush that recipe, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I know you guys have to prepare uh, for the meals. Um, we're gonna let you go, so that way you guys can. Um, prepare the meals Great. for the cook-off and now we're gonna bring on Daria and Krista and we're here with Daria De Lucia from at Hoboken Eats and Krista Stuccio from at hashtag food pick and this is the first ever cook-off between them now if you guys remember we did have a wing off uh, over the summer at the Shep and Knucklehead uh, Ooh, where yeah. <laughs> it was awesome it was so good and I think it was a beer off too yes, oh, yes. Right. Yeah, definitely, definitely, was. Was. definitely beer involved okay so now you guys are here we are going to do the cook-off I actually just want to start off with you Daria okay. um, what is your strategy strategy to beat Krista listening this to Nick everything Nick says he is the mastermind behind this I am the executor and if him is my partner, we're gonna kick some butt. Okay, okay, Krista. I'm working with a professional chef here, so <laughs> I don't think there's a contest at all. Ooh. You're going down. Oh, ladies, it is Women's Month. It is Women's, what is it, what is Women's <laughs> It's okay, I, think I, I lift we you drove, up, but I also wanna beat you. We so. drove together, so someone might have to walk <laughs> back, I don't know. <laughs> Take NJ Transit, you know. <laughs> okay, so now, Terry, have you ever cooked salmon before at home? I have not. I've had salmon, cooked in this way probably once in my life. Okay. Um, so I am, sorry Nick, I'm very new to this. So <laughs> you better be really good at teaching as well. <laughs> okay, and Krista? I cook salmon quite often. I'm actually realizing I haven't cooked it in a while, but I usually just kind of make a very simple recipe and I kind of just go off the top of my head. So I'm excited to have like an actual method and something different that I'm not normally cooking. Okay, okay. All right, well, I guess we'll get right to this. We'll be right back with the cook-off, folks. Peter Biancomano, your hostess with the mostest of the Pulse with Peter B. Folks, don't forget to go on our Facebook and our Instagram pages by searching The Pulse with Peter B. And like and follow us on each of those platforms. We're constantly updating those pages with previews of each week's segments and cool stories. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our email address at thepulsewithpeterv at gmail.com. Welcome back to The Pulse. I'm guest host Nicolette Ayala. We are here for the cook-off between Team Daria and Team Krista. And right now we have Team Daria on the deck, I guess, per se. Obviously Nick, the winners. Nick, take it away. AKA yeah. the winners. <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, we're cooking the Cajun Crusted Salmon. Um, that's a, a meal that we sell through Ready Strong Meals. And I'm excited to have Daria prepare it for us. I'm excited too. So. Okay. What are, we doing? what are we doing? So here's what we're gonna do. This is our low carb version. Um, we serve it with oven roasted broccoli. So I'm gonna have Daria cut the broccoli into florets. Okay. So florets are just small, small bite sized pieces. pieces. Would you say go for this whole thing or kind of? Uh, whatever like this? you feel more comfortable. How am I doing? With. Yeah, I think that's that's solid. Okay. So you want to chop it up? All right. Oh, this big guy right here. Daria, you're better than me. Cause yeah, that's actually. Uh, <laughs> Those are pretty good cuts. I gotta be honest, I was Those sharpening are, the knife a little bit before. That was actually before, very so, quick uh, <laughs> too. Whoa, she's got, the whole, she's got the knife sharpener, watch yeah. out. All right, cool. Gotta so, keep Peter on his toes back there, right? Absolutely. All right. So bite-sized pieces. Shots okay. fired. Um, Is this you're gonna, good? Yeah, that's actually perfect. So Hear that, gonna, Krista? Perfect. You're gonna put the broccoli into the sheet okay. pan um, with the parking paper. Okay. And then you're gonna take a little extra virgin olive oil and you're gonna squirt it over the broccoli. Okay. A lot, little? Uh, a little bit, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna douse it in olive oil, that's perfect. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is um, put a touch of salt and pepper. Okay. You don't wanna put too much salt, um, but you wanna you know, 
put just enough so you can taste it, but it's also healthy. I hope everyone at home is taking notes. A little bit more? Yes, a little bit more. Should I try Perfect. the salt bay with it? Do salt bay, I love it. <laughs> now that's too much, all right? Love it. You're gonna have people okay. drinking a gallon okay. of water. All right, and then you're gonna put the pepper, pepper on there. Yeah. Okay. And then um, if you want, just mix up the broccoli so everything gets kind of evenly. I'm trying uh, to get some of that salt off. Evenly distributed. <laughs> it's a nicer way of saying, yeah. gotcha. let's get the I salt gotcha. off. <laughs> All right, All right, cool. All right, so the broccoli's done. Cool, easy. Um, easy peasy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cle clean off the, the cutting board. You always wanna make sure you're working in a clean station. Um, nothing drives me crazier walking into a kitchen and seeing it dirty, so. Okay. Um, making, making sure it's clean. We're working clean. You're crushing clean. it so far. We're Eating clean. clean. We're doing it all. We're ready, we're strong, <laughs> we have meals. Yeah, you're gonna put that salmon on the cutting board. Okay. Um, you're gonna dress it up with a little olive oil. Okay. So that's the first step. And then after the olive oil. How's this? Perfect. Massage a little bit. Okay. All right. Awesome. Darius gonna um, have to gonna cut I don't know what the taste is like the red <laughs> No, that's good. You're gonna cut a little garlic because okay. with ready strong meals, you're basically garlic is essentially in everything. So Okay. Um yeah, if you wanna just chop it up and then Do you just, smash your garlic? First? I do, okay. I do. I smash it oh. and then I mince it. All right, let's see if we can do nice this. Nice little trick for everyone back home. Yeah, that's a great, if don't you chop don't off already your fingers. Do that. I know. Be careful over There's here, a right? lot of extra on these black, um, <laughs> on these black uh, gloves. Might be Good. a little. Maybe, maybe one more piece of garlic. Okay. Um, get this a little smaller though. Yeah, get it a little smaller. You want to like, you know, mince it up. You want it to be like pretty, pretty fine so it goes on the salmon. Okay. Um, nicely and it's not too small but it's not too thick because you don't want somebody like bite into a big chunk of garlic that wouldn't be good personal question have you ever cut finger to uh date? yes okay. i have today finger, knock on wood today that you have you don't do it after this no <laughs> hopefully not but probably will i know i've said this before that my dad's a chef so yes um this is where i even so I got the smashing garlic yeah. thing from i'm not as good as him obviously nowhere near but that's that's actually um it's a it's a very it's a veteran move, smashing the garlic He's and then an mincing old guy. it. Yeah, so I'm saying <laughs> for you it's, it's a veteran move. So I was like, okay, this, uh, she knows what she's doing. I, I've cut I've cut a few garlics yeah, before. Yeah, so that's good. Um, so perfect. So we got the garlic in place. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the garlic over the salmon, just kind of rub it on on top. Oh, like a professional. That she yeah. Is. So you want to like get you know. Um, like are we trying to get it in there? Yeah, get it in there. You want to make sure that it's all um, instead of hobo can eat, it's evenly hobo can like, distributed over each piece of salmon, over the whole piece, because you don't want someone to bite into it and yeah. have a lot of garlic and then you know not a lot of garlic. So that looks pretty good. Beautiful, um, beautiful. You're also going to put uh, a little salt on there, okay? A little as well bit. as pepper, a just a little bit. A little bit. You know, not uh, don't, don't be aggressive with the salt, all right? No Daria. more salt, babe. <laughs> don't be aggressive. Not copious amounts of salt, just, just a little, just a little salt, okay? Um, we're gonna go pepper, and then uh, which makes this a Cajun crusted salmon is we're gonna do the uh, Cajun Old Bay seasoning. This is my Ooh. favorite seasoning for all types of seafood, um, you know, salmon, you know, different types of fish, shrimp, etc. I would do copious. Here? I would copious? do yeah, copious. Not too much, right, but I'm not even gonna try and salt by this. This is gonna go over um, the kitchen. That's perfect. Beautiful. Once again, Krista, did awesome. you hear that word perfect? perfect? So, um, Ooh, guys, so are you hearing the I would like, smack talking? Like Krista, rub it in. I hope you're ready. You gotta bring the heat, girl. Yeah, that's uh, that actually looks really good. And you want to you want to try to get the sides of the of, oh, the, of the salmon let's do too. It. Need a little bit more. Um, so everything is kind of evenly uh, distribute, distributed this throughout, looks the, so delicious, throughout the throughout the salmon. Yeah. I, I can't wait to try this later. Okay. So um, yeah, I mean, and, and that's basically it, right? It's a pretty simple dish. Um, it's healthy. You have your omega threes. Right. You know, you're getting all your vitamins and minerals um, through your vegetables as well as the salmon. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's great. It's Wait. delicious and tasty. Show so the camera. Oil up the um, little bit of the parchment paper. And then uh, you're going to put the salmon right on top of the, uh, the sheet tray. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we're gonna put it into the oven. All right, let's show off my work a little bit. And we're gonna go right to it with Krista and Chef Jerry for the cook-off. Yeah. I'm ready. I have my hair back. I'm with the chef here, so. You already know 
We're, we're winning are, this. We are winning this. How do I start? So first off, you're going to get your knife. All right. You're going to get this beautiful garlic that we have here. We bought. All right. As uh, our opponents did, you know, they smashed it. Yeah, and but... I, I have to tell you, I have one of those garlic presses. It's actually from my grandma, so it's very special to me, and it works amazing. So I don't normally do this, but I'm going to give it a go. Do you uh, have a specific, like... I prefer a press. You don't have to smash like the Hulk, So you but... just kind of, like, push it? Yeah, go ahead, just push. A little body in it, that's All it. right, and now I just start chopping? Yep. I'm going to push it a little bit. And I love how push. we're starting with garlic first for this one, and, you know, not broccoli. It's a different type of strategy yep. over here. These gloves, I'm not used to this. She's, yeah, she got it. I also have to tell you guys, I am kind of terrified of knives. No. So me chopping this garlic right now is you're kind doing of a big great, deal. sweetie. You're doing great. So yeah. So right, now cool. we're gonna just move that to the side. Side to the left. We're gonna get our beautiful <laughs> broccoli. We got our broccoli. So you know how to cut broccoli, right? Um, yeah. I probably should have. She's just gonna go. Okay. It. I kind of wanted to get the. You did. It. It's you. First. Look at that. She was a nice cut, quick. right? That was right. quick. So now, do you have a method from here? You're we're just gonna go like ahead. Okay. And you just. Yeah, you can take off those. There you go. You don't even need Use See? your hand. That's Either what's up. That's Krista. the chef I was like, about. being afraid of knives has really gotten, you know, I think we do need to cut this part, though. It's a little, go. it's got a little tough there. Let's toss this in there. Chef you Krista go. in the building. Look at you. Okay. You want this guy? Just throw that in there. All right. We don't waste it, though. We will uh, and, use that. In a kitchen, in a real restaurant, yeah. or in the meal prep company like us, at Ready Strong Meals, uh, we would use this to, uh, as for broccoli rice or something like that. Okay. You know, break it down. We don't, we're a zero waste kitchen. We don't like to waste anything. Good. Love lemon that. peels, we make candied lemon peels. We do everything. Right? Wow. Anything, we, anything and everything we can take home, we take home. That is the best you know Good to know, yeah. We I don't like definitely to waste good. food. I yell at my friends when they throw their food away. Yeah. Ask anyone. <laughs> um, so now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in there. All right. Very hard. We're gonna put our beautiful little bit of olive oil. Beautiful. I'm an olive oil fan. Guys at home, are you taking notes? Like Steve and You're going to salt bay, not like the opponents. <laughs> that, was, that was a little much. Oh, Sorry, Daria. Well, the trash talk. What do we think? Solid? Yeah. yeah All right. A little, a little pepper. 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 This pepper. looks delicious. And now you're going to put your garlic right on top. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this part. <laughs> put it all on there. Looks delicious. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Now, with your hands, you're going to give them a nice little toss. Just give it a massage, you know? Not a deep tissue, but. Yeah, yeah, just a, just a little one. <laughs> Loosen up a little bit. All right, next, you know, we're going to clean off this little board over here. Bring this towards you. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, there tricks of the trade. We're learning new you tricks. You already know. You already know. I feel so much better. We got a clean slate. All right. OK. Now. This is the next challenge, All the right. salmon. Yes. A lot of people like skin on, a lot of people like skin off. We're gonna do skin on. Skin on is amazing. Okay. We're gonna put it on here. I don't wanna dirty the cutting board, cross contaminate, you know. We're yep. gonna go ahead and put everything on there. Take okay. away this nasty piece of crap. <laughs> what is that exactly? It's just to soak up the juices. Okay, all right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and oil it up. Nice little nice. generous coat. Yeah, just get, you, you want to oil the, the bottom as well. Pick it up. Oh, you don't, the, don't be scared of this right. fish. It may be floppy, but it's dead. <laughs> all right, we got, we got all of it. And it is it. delicious. She's got, She's got this. All right, pepper. Good. A all little right. bit of pepper. Pepper. That doesn't come out very generously, so we're going to. A little goes a long way, I feel like, with pepper, aggressive though. with it. Yeah, but this is Cajun salmon, because we got to get sure. it nice and spicy. True. Exactly. Then you All can right. go with your salt. Not too much salt. Don't forget the Cajun seasoning has salt Beautiful. already in it. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Okay. Dari went a little overboard there. A lot of things have, uh, you guys got to read Ooh. the ingredients on your ingredients. So, so we're now we're going to go with the Old Bay. Okay. Um, you can. Yeah, let's do go that. Ahead. Go ahead, change your gloves. Can I like yeah, shake it? You can put it right on top and... and then you're going to rub both sides and the side. You're going to. Right. This one you can deep tissue. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to deep tissue the salmon now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you really want to create a crust on this salmon. Right, right. All right. Beautiful. You want it to look like. I think we could go a little bit more. Like one of your crusty X's. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a few of those. I, I do have a few of those. 
Shots fired. I hope they're watching. Yeah, that's what I'm like. We you know who you are, guys. No, <laughs> I'm missing out on, you know? Now, you could well, have been having the salmon. Great salmon. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Just a nice little Beautiful. Streak. Just Beautiful. slap it on there. Right on Now you're going to grab it and One hand. It. Oh. Look at that. What a beaut. All right. That was a little. Oh, no. We're good. We're that's good. That's nice. We are looking great. Uh, whatever you want. You could throw the rest if you have some little extra bits in your, your broccoli. I think we're going to show the camera. Our beautiful. You guys ready for this? This is great. the winner. Looks winner, winner, salmon dinner. <laughs> All right. Well, both dishes look and smell amazing. So we will be right back for the tasting of the dishes. Peter Biancamano back with you. Don't forget to watch us on cable access every Sunday and Monday at 9 a.m. Optimum Channel 18, Files Channel 46, and Comcast Channel 190. Also on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m., you can watch our show on our YouTube channel, and you can also binge watch all of our old shows. Who doesn't want to keep watching The Pulse of Peter B? We'll see you there. Welcome back to The Pulse with Peter B. I'm Nicolette Ayala, and rejoining us is the man himself, our hostess with the mostest, Peter Biancamano. I love the way she said hostess with the mostest because she knows it. Thank you so much, Nicolette, You're welcome, for Peter. carrying the pulse throughout this show. Trust me. Okay, the meals are ready. Darian, Chris, it's good to see you. Great to see you, Peter. Good to see you, right? too. Well, exactly. It's been a while. All right. It's been a while that it's right. I know you've been like, you know, she's been stealing my thunder, the uh, lovely uh, person to my left here. <laughs> so I think before Nicolette and I do the taste test, I think the two of you need to try your masterpieces first and tell us why you think your dish is better. Dara and Krista? Are we eating you? then saying why? Oh, obviously. All right. <laughs> the moment of truth, exactly. ladies and gentlemen. Got to make sure I get some nice chunks of garlic wow. here. Exactly. And folks, we want to thank Nick Madia and Chef Jerry from Ready Strong Meals mm. for assisting our food insiders today. Thank you, they, guys. And for all the preparation. They were absolutely phenomenal. You're going to want to visit them and buy from them. Ready Strong Meals. Okay, Derry, you first. It's got all the flavors in it. It's so good. The, the Cajun seasoning on top, the garlic, hint of pepper, hint, a little bit of salt. I'm... I'm a professional chef, guys. <laughs> Did you try your broccoli? No, not yet. Okay, Krista? Perfect amount of kick, and the skin is perfectly crispy. Perfectly crispy. And what about your broccoli? I haven't tried it yet. All right. All right. Let's Daria? Do this. I'm going back in for more. It's so good. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. All right. She was like, I'll stick to the salmon. Exactly. Then the broccoli. All right, here we go. So now Nicolette and I are going to oh, I grab. Was that? I double dipped. She did. She did. That's side. okay. That, I, I, That's why I got two ends. Greg's going to kill me. I switched exactly. my cans. All right. <laughs> we are going to start. You could start with Krista's. I'll start with I'll the areas here. Oh, I can hear that. Crunch. I know. I know. I can't even cut it with I this know. By ginormous fork, which I is know. very, very interesting. All right. I'm struggling <laughs> too. Don't worry. The skin is not doing us right here. Okay. I'm gonna hold your microphone for a second. I know, I'm like, oh if my you God. need two hands, like. Wow, Daria, that is good. Let me try a piece of broccoli. Mmm, okay. Not bad. That is really, really good. Let's do a switcheroo here, Nicolette. Hold on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just speechless over here. <laughs> I'll switch it. Oh my God. That Obey seasoning, guys. Yeah. Phenomenal that job. Hits. Ready, strong meals. It hits you. Mmm. All right. Trying. Oh, look at that one. That came off quite easily. <laughs> look at there, that Krista. one. That came off quite easily. Wow, there. look at that piece. That's a bite and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Mm. Oh okay. My I'm going to try Krista's broccoli. Chef Jerry. <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing. Mm. Chef Jerry knew I'm a garlic fan, apparently. Oh, and Krista. <laughs> All right. Okay, interesting. I'm ready to make my decision. You first, Peter. Okay. Daria, terrific job, but I think Krista's was better. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. I, I'm a huge garlic fan, and I could un, the garlic taste is so prevalent with the salmon. It was my type of salmon. Sorry. Sorry I got to try it now. I got to try it. <laughs> Nicolette? So 
I'm going to break it down a little bit oh, this way. Do your thing. Okay. I'm going to keep eating. So for salmon, <laughs> I really, really, really loved Krista's. Okay. Um, I think it was one of those where it was perfect enough of garlic. Um, so kudos to you, girl. Um, I Just me personally, I would have added like maybe a little drizzle of lemon. That's just me. Um, but All I right. think broccoli-wise, I, I don't know, Darius broccoli. It was amazing. So I don't know. Hey, you wanted look, that extra garlic. Right? I know, gotta I know, make, I know. You got to make a pick right I know. now. OK, OK. Um, <sighs> the pressure's on, Nicolette. I don't know. I don't want to leave this to a tie, though. All right. <laughs> well, if you do. Um, we always tie. Yeah, we, we might. We might. Two, uh, one. Daria or Krista? Daria. OK. So it is a tie, unfortunately, which is like kissing your brother, they say, correct? So. I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> Peter I says have that. not heard that. <laughs> so we're going to have to have a tiebreaker, folks. And we have an extremely special guest who wears the same thing every week on The Pulse, but we won't make fun of him for that. And that is our political analyst, who's giving me the finger off camera as we're talking <laughs> right now. Our political analyst, Josh. Sotomayor Einstein, he is going to break the tie. Josh, get in here, take your mask off, let's go. Everybody say hello to Josh on hey camera Josh. here. Hey, Josh. So, Josh, we're gonna leave you at the end. I'm gonna switch with you, Dave, if you don't mind. We're gonna, this is Krista's dish. I'm gonna give you Nicolette's fork because I know you don't wanna eat off my fork, correct? I don't have cooties, I promise, Josh. <laughs> This is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While you're trying, Chris, guys, did you have fun doing Make this? Make sure you Kristen? get some nice crispy skin in there. All right. I'm just going to try the salmon because I only eat broccoli when it's drenched in uh, Chinese food juices. <laughs> <laughs> so, but for, uh, I will say this for non steak, which is how I group my, my foods, is two food groups are steak and non steak. This looks very, very pretty. <laughs> Is he a qualified taste tester? No, he's a political guy, but we need to break a tie here. <laughs> Apparently. So. He needs to branch out. out. He needs to he's step out of the right now. I feel like an animal that's being watched in nature uh. right now. So. Well, have you looked yourself in the mirror lately? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, let's try wrap this up. Try it. Try it. And I'm going to bring over Darius' dish. Okay. Very, very good. They know. They know. Krista Derry, by the way, while he's trying this last one, was this so much fun? It was so much fun. Okay, I love fun. cooking and yeah. I love eating new foods. Oh, did very, very good, but just like a pinch of too much salt. But that's just my taste. If you think I had a lot of salt, good luck with that one. <laughs> it was my broccoli. <laughs> this is like a family reunion on the post. I don't think we've ever been on camera, all of us. So. <laughs> Gabriel or Krista, that's what I need to know. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with the crusty one. <laughs> All right, that is Darius. Daria, wow. congratulations. You. you have won the first ever <laughs> Pulse Cook Off between Food Insiders. Congratulations to you Thank and, of you. course, your coach, Nick McMahon. Yes. Right? What, what do you yeah. have to say for yourself? I'm going to have to, oh, I'm going to have to order this more often because even though I did it with my hand, I executed the uh, chef's direction. Um, I have to give him all the credit, but fantastic recipe. That's why it tastes so good. All right. Well, for Josh Sotomayor, Einstein, or political analyst, Chris Stuccio, hashtag food pick, Nicolette Ayala, and our lovely guest host, Daria DeLucia from At Hoboken Eats, our friends at Ready Strong Meals. Folks, today's show was brought to you by the Liberty Board of Realtors. Find out more information from our friends there at the link at the bottom of your screen. And also, The Dream Project. Find out more information from our friends there at the link on the bottom of your screen. And a special thank you to the Hoboken Elks Lodge 74, located at 1005 Washington Street. You can find out more information about them at the link at the bottom of your screen. And I am done. Join us next week for the pulse on everything you need to know. Why don't we all say goodbye, everybody. Bye, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> The Pulse with Peter B. is a proud partner of Eyes on NJ.